What is going on, Indian Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another flip note video. I decided that I want to show you guys more of my old flip note videos that I did when I was a kid. Um, if you guys don't remember, flip note studios was a thing from I think late 2008 until uh, May 31st of 2013. Um, who remembers flip note antenna? I do. Those are good times. And, um,. And it's awesome to relive, to see my old flip notes that I did. I don't care if they're crap. I was having fun at that time. Flip note was fun back then. And ever since that flip note antenna shut down in May 31st, 2013, it was just boring. I don't know why they did that. They should not have done that. I'm sad. But anyway, so let's go back to my DSi. Let's, I, I will take you guys no, I will um, take you guys to the old times when I was doing some an animations on my DSi. Let's go. That was a terrible, I don't know. I could not speak. I might as well like, get this quick because I don't have my, I can't find my DSi charger and it's on red. So I'm pretty fucked. So I might as well hurry up. So what I'm going to do is show you guys. An original series that I did. It was only three episodes. It was... Woo! Woo! Cringe. And it was a series I did called Rob and Bob. It was inspired by one of my all-time favorite flip no animators called Mike and Ike um, from a creator named Anthony. And I wanted to do like an original creation, but I was inspired, so it was not stealing. But mine was pretty cringe as fuck. So I will show you guys my origin, my original series, short series called Robin Bob. Here we go. All right, let's get this over with. Um, we're staying at. Uh, Kelly. Oh. Kelly. Kelly. Those are backpacks. Hi, Kelly. <coughs> Can I see a trick? You want to see it? Sure. Look at this trick. Oh my god. Wow. Ah. Wow. Okay, that's a stupid trick. I agree, okay. Rob. Oh my god. So I worked on that little shirt for two days and 10 year old me thought that was the coolest thing I've ever did. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, it was fun, but look, but what the. Uh, I was having fun. That should matter. That should matter. Um. So Kelly was supposed to be like some random girl that Bob has a crush on. Um. Kelly, I guess, was just some cranky girl. I guess. Oh, but it gets worse. So this is part two of Robin Bob, and this will have, and this does have this song from 2011. It was called "Whip My Hair" from G G what's her name? I know she's the daughter of Will Smith, Jaden Smith. I don't know. I'm dumb. Here we go. I want to see one more time. I'm gonna get copyrighted. Is that chicken? Luigi! It was Willow Smith, by the way, not Jaden Smith. I do apologize for that. And that was the cringiest episode I've ever did because I was just so random. Apparently, Bob went from liking her to holy fucking shit. What the hell is wrong with this fucking bitch? Oh my god. And the music had to be down because it's copyright music, so yeah. Just let you guys know the song was Willow Smith's Whip My Hair. You guys remember that song? You deserve a uh, service discount or whatever the hell it's called. 
veterans discount, whatever. I don't remember how part three went, the finale. I really hope it's not that bad. That's a part three. So here we are, the final part of Robin Bob. I really hope it's not that cringy. If it's very cringy, I don't know what's gonna happen. By the way, those are backpacks, not turtle shells. And those are hairs and those are hats, yada yada. So here we go. Yeah. So the entire series went from Bob having a crush on Kelly because Kelly has talent. And then she shows him the talent one more time. And then Bob was like, hell fucking no. Ah. And then Rob was like, stop. While Bob was running and then, I don't know, he looked like he got beaten up. And then... Bob, got, not Bob, Rob got it, no, who was it, fuck, uh, and then, I think it was Bob, yeah, it was Bob, and then Bob got hit by a chicken, like a bird, I think it was like, I think it was a bird, it was like randomly flying, got hit by Bob, and then, I don't know where the hell did the Ouija's come from, I don't know, that was so random, why did I think this is the best thing I ever did, why, why? And then the final part, Kelly has gone completely psycho. And then she can drive, apparently. And then she drove off a cliff and fucking died. She died! Why? I don't know. Oh no, I just killed the kid, I guess. Kelly just fucking died. She died, guys. I don't know. What the hell was this? Oh, my God. I don't even know. And thank God it was three parts. I don't know what the, the it, what part four would look like. Oh, my God. So we had Bob having a crush on Kelly. Then all of a sudden, Kelly became some psycho. And then Bob was like, nope, I don't like you anymore. And then the Ouija's came along. And then Kelly became all psycho. I don't know why. And then Kelly fucking died. Go off the cliff. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed that cringe fest. I think this was like more cringier than the last one. And hopefully I can do like... Show some more before my DSi dies, and I, don't know, I guess either I gotta find a DSi charger or I gotta buy a new one. So, yeah. so anyway, that is it for today's video. I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more. Follow my social accounts: Instagram, I'm me and Press Twenty Five, and Ian Press Forty Eight underscore YT. Like my Facebook page, Ian Oscar Forty Eight Nation Films. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content. And although what I made was cringy, but it's awesome to look back at my childhood when life was great. I think life would still be good if Antenna was still around, not shut down. That's just my opinion. Anyway, thank you guys for supporting E Nation. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully I can do like another one of these before, I don't know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.